Good morning Year 5 Green Group. Welcome to your Tuesday Maths lesson. Today we're going to look at adding lengths. Can you record today's date and learning objective in your maths book and underline them with a ruler? Then do your flashback for number one, how many millimetres equal four centimetres? Number two, what unit of measurement is best to describe the width of your fingernail? That means how wide your fingernail is. Centimetres, metres or millimetres? If one blue circle represents eight people, what do five blue circles represent? How many people? And number four, what is the product of 14 and three? Product means when you multiply them together. Then you've got the time to do. Pause the video while you have a go. Let's see how you did. Pause the video while you mark your answers, please. And let's move on to today's learning. So we're moving on with our work on length. And today we're going to be adding lengths. So let's get started. Number one, convert the measurements. One centimetre is equal to how many millimetres? Well done if you said 10. One meter is equal to how many centimeters? Well done if you said 100. Write these down if you think you're going to forget them because you will need them in today's learning. Number two, 47 add 25 add 13. How will you work this one out? I looked at it because seven and three make a 10. So if I take this three and add it onto there, this makes it up to the next 10, which is 50. Then if I add this 10, that makes 60. Then if I add 20, 60 add 20 is 80. And five more is 85. Well done if you found that. And number three, 128 centimetres is equal to one metre and how many centimetres? One metre is the same as 100 centimetres. So it would be 100 centimetres and how many extra centimetres? 28. Well done. We'll use this skill today. Let's learn. Tommy uses toy bricks to make a tower. What is the height of the tower? That means how tall is it? Which numbers on here would we need to use? Height means from top to bottom or from bottom to top. So we will need 18 centimetres and 53. Let's think how to work that out. Pause the video and have a go at using this column method to add those numbers up. Let's see how you did. First of all, three ones adds eight ones makes 11 ones. And we'd record it by putting the one ten here and the one one there. Five tens add one ten, add one more ten equals seven tens. And we write them in there. So if we read this number now, it's 71. So how tall is the tower? The height of the tower is 71 centimetres. Well done if you did that. What is the length of the tower? Length means how long is it? That means from one end to the other end. Which numbers do we need to add up now? Pause the video, have a think. How will you do it? So there are the numbers we need to add up down here. First of all, I would do it by doing 12 and 12 more, which is 24 centimetres. Then if you remember at the start of our lesson, three and seven makes a 10. Let's take this seven and add it onto there to make it to the next 10, which is 30. Then add this 10 across, which is 40. And then we want to do the 40, add this 24, which is 64. So the length of the tower is 64 centimetres. Well done if you got that. 
Let's have a look at this one. 20 millimetres add 10 centimetres is how many centimetres? Is it 30? Hmm, let's check. This says millimetres. That's not the same measurement. So we need to change this into centimetres because the answer wants centimetres. If there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre, if I have 20 of them, how many centimetres do I have? Two. So I have two centimetres, that's the same as 20 millimetres. Then I'm going to add on the 10 centimetres and it makes 12 centimetres. So the answer is 12 centimetres. Let's try this one. One metre and 80 centimetres. Add how many centimetres to get to two metres? Well, I know that two metres is the same as 200 centimetres because one metre, this one metre is 100 centimetres. Add the 80 makes 180 centimetres and that's what this is. So 180 centimetres, add some more centimetres and I know 2 metres is 200 centimetres. What would I add to 180 to get to 200? It's 20. So the answer here is 20 centimetres. I'd like you to pause here and have a go at questions 1 to 3 on the worksheet. Here is how I'd like you to record that in your book. You're going to be sticking it in your book today and recording it directly on here using space to work it out. Here you're finding the length, how long it is, and here you're finding the height, this bit and this bit to find the height. Then you're going to have questions like we've just practiced and a question to try out. When you finish number three, come back to me and we'll go on. Let's move on. A mat is 45 centimetres long. A rug is 63 centimetres long. How long are they all together? What does all together tell us we have to do? That's right, we're going to add them together. Let's look at it as a picture. So here's a mat and that's 45 centimetres long. Now, if I want to draw the rug, will it be bigger, smaller or the same? It's going to be longer, like that. And I want to find the distance from one side to the other. So what am I going to do with these two numbers? We're going to add. What's 45 add 63? I'd like you to pause the video here and have a go at doing this column method. Let's see how you did. Three ones add five ones makes eight ones. Six tens add four tens makes ten tens. And remember, ten tens is the same as one hundred. So we put that over there. That means there's no tens left. No hundreds add no hundreds add one hundred is one hundred. So the answer is a hundred and eight centimetres. I wonder if you can change that into metres and centimetres. One metre is a hundred centimetres. So we have one of those metres. And we've got eight centimetres left. So there is one metre and eight centimetres. Let's have a look at this one. A paper click is 30 millimetres long. A crayon is six, nine centimetres long. Dexter arranges some paper clips and crayons like this. Paper clip, crayon. Paper clip, paper clip, crayon. Does his pattern fit onto a 30 centimetre long piece of paper? We've got some maths to do here. Can you work out what it is? Well, let's put the measurements onto our drawing. Paper clip is 30 millimetres and the crayon is 9 centimetres and we record it next to each one. Then I can work out what I need to add together. 
Can you spot what I need to do first though? At the moment, we've got millimetres and centimetres. What do I need to convert into? Well, the final answer I'm comparing to centimetres, so I need to change the paper clips into centimetres. How many millimetres make one centimetre? 10 millimetres make one centimetre, and I've got three of those 10, so that's three centimetres. And you can see I've changed it on each one. Now that I have them all in centimetres, I can add them up. I wonder what method you will use to add them together. Is there more than one way to do it? Pause the video while you find out what the answer is. Think about the method you are using. Let's see how you did. You could just add them up in order. 3, add 9, add 3, add 3, add 9, which is 27. Well done if you find the answer. What other ways could we try it? We could try by doing 3 add 9, this paper clip and this crayon, makes a 12. In the pattern I notice there's another paper clip and crayon, which will be another 12, and that's 24 altogether. Then I'm left with one more paper clip. So that 24, add the 3 more, is 27. Did you find another way to do it? Somebody said I can do 3 times 9. Well, there's one 9. There's 2 times 9. So where did the other 9 come from? Correct. 3 add 3 add 3. Or 3 times 3 makes 9. So I've got 3 9s all together. 3 times 9 is 27. Well done if you spotted that. Will that fit onto a 30 centimetre long piece of paper? Yes, because 27 is less than 30 centimetres. Have a go please at the rest of the worksheet. And here's how I'd like you to stick it in. Remembering you can use any of the squares in your book to record any of your calculations. Have a go at the rest of it. Pause the video while you do that. Then come back to me for some extra challenges. Here are your extra challenges for today. Eva is building a tower using these blocks, a bit like we did earlier. If you notice, they're all in millimetres. How many different ways can she build a tower that will measure 56 centimetres altogether? Notice this is centimetres. Can you see that I've changed the centimetres into millimetres here to help you? Can you write your calculations in millimetres and in centimetres? I've given you an example of how you could record that. Have a go. Eva and her brother Jack measured the height of the family. Here's Eva, here's Jack, and here are their parents. And they've measured the height. Eva thinks their total height is 4 metres and 55 centimetres. Jack thinks their total height is 5 metres and 89 centimetres. Who is correct? And prove it using maths, please. Here are some sentence stems to help you. Somebody is correct. Who has not included something when they were measuring and adding up? Good luck with the extra challenges today. I look forward to seeing your answers in your book. See you tomorrow. Bye.